I left home a few years back in search of something better. In Shepherdstown, they took me in. My trade's work in leather. I was raised here in these fields, my father's Pennsylvania. So in some strange way today, it feels right to come back home. Just a boy from Adams County, on a farm from Gettysburg. Left his family and his bounty The green of pastures side unseen Now he wants his sleigh back lane When this war had finally come I took up with Virginia In support of my new home And my adopted southern kinfolk I've campaigned the Stonewall's boys He's since gone to the ages And now it seems that any way I turn I'm always leaving home Just a boy from Adams County On a farm near Gettysburg Left his family and his bounty For green pastures side unseen Now I want my slate white clean Came across from Jackie Skelly, a rifle shot and laid him low. Gave me a letter for his Jenny. I now carry in my coat. My brother Will won't speak my name. Considers me a traitor We've not met on the same field But that I'm surely grateful Someday I know we'll make our peace I'll seek out his forgiveness Until then I'm shown that mother prays for her divided sons. Just a boy from Adams County on a farm near Gettysburg left his family and his family Green the pastures side unseen. Now he wants his sleigh ride clean. Yeah, I want my sleigh ride clean. Yes, I want my sleigh ride clean. Thank you.
On July 2, 1863, Union General John Buford gathers his men and horses after setting the stage for the Battle of Gettysburg the day before through uncommon heroism and prepares to ride on toward whatever the course of the Great War held in store for them. It was actually 150 years ago today that John Buford, the character of that song, <clears throat> rode into Gettysburg and occupied it for a short period of time before the Confederates showed up tomorrow morning. On July 3rd, Confederate General James Longstreet prepares to execute General Lee's audacious orders under protest, leading what would become commonly known as the tragic Pickett's Charge. 
General Longstreet is well aware of the massive bloodshed he is about to lead his men into. So it's deciding We're pushing on through No more debate, no It's what we're gonna do Logic be damned This just ain't the place all the time And none of my rationale We're gonna change the old man's mind You can't see the blood Beyond his stubborn pride Look, it's covering my hands And they won't come dry But I will soldier on now It's what I'm bound to do I'm gonna hunker down And I'll follow through I will soldier on Though I just don't the good soldiers always heal the other hand. I look at all these boys, the blind trust that they will, that I lead them on to victory in these bloody fields. A trust I'll betray as I. March them in the hell. I want to hang my shameful head when I hear them rebel yell. And I will sit down up in Heroes Tank and crash into the fray. There'll be no looking back. And we will soldier on now. It's what we gonna hunt it down and we'll follow through or we will soldier on according to the plan the good soldiers always heal the upper hand is this courage disregarding Facts, ignoring advice. What kind of man keeps on rolling these days?
Thank you very much. Jenny Wade, a young girl of only 20, was killed in a crossfire on July 3rd while kneading bread dough at her sister's house. She was the only civilian casualty of the Battle of Gettysburg. On the morning of July 4th, 1863, Jenny's mother, Mary Wade, finishes breaking the bread and offers the same with her grief and solace to the Union soldiers near the house on Baltimore Street.
Four songs there from the fields of Gettysburg, written by John A. Walsh, who was also singing here and playing acoustic guitar. Jessica Baldwin sang that last one. Todd Bird sang one earlier. Ted Harrison was on the bass, and Burt McKelvey on the woodwinds, and the Mountain Stage Band also joined him.